All right, we're back. Got some Tang right here from Trapdoor. I may have used this um, same beer last year about this time. This one is a uh, New England style IPA, so it's a hazy 6.6. .6. Trapdoor is in Washington, which is where I live. And very cool, uh, kind of a very bright, vibrant label there. Let's see, we got, it says astronaut approved tang, has pilsner, wheat, and oats for the malts, uh, double dry hopped with El Dorado mosaic, and six pounds of hops per barrel. So right there, it's got the stats for us. Very nice. All right, let's crack into it. <clears throat> I am a big fan of Trapdoor. I really like their stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big juice, big citrus, nice um, orange flavors coming through, and just a little bit of a, um, a hot bite at the end. Really good, really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. We're going to be using some Hub City Soap Company for Sample Sunday, and this one is Pages. So, <clears throat> got these nice little sample tins. As you can see inside, I scoop some out. It's a somewhat soft soap. <clears throat> We're going to be using the IBC Chevette today in the maroon handle with the kind of satin finish and uh, chrome on the blade portion. And then, as you can see in there, we got a DE blade. Not an Artist Club or Schick blade. We got a DE blade. And it's actually a uh, Derby Extra. I made a video on, a, or I sent a video over to the Razor Company, um, just a quick video on how to snap a blade in half safely, and so now I have two halves of a Derby Extra blade. So that's what we're going to be using. Got the old Lancaster bowl right here. Very good stuff. And we got the lather already made. We got the Eldrudia right there. So let's get into it. Gonna try to make this a quick one because it seems I forgot to make space. So we're gonna have to crank this one out. How about that? <clears throat> I don't want to start over. So we're gonna try to do a speed shave instead. So Pages from Hub City is a scent that I've wanted to try for a long time. It's kind of inspired by being in your study sitting in your leather chair with the flickering light beside you as you read leather-bound books and dusty pages. It's a really cool kind of um, vibe or inspiration that they set forth on this one. Um, I wrote down some notes here. It has cedar, leather, teakwood, amorous, patchouli, Sandalwood and dark musk. The Raider base, as it is called, is a tallow base. And for four ounces on a normal sized tub, it would cost you about 18 bucks. So, not bad at all, um, value wise. And this is my second use of the Hub City soap. And I can tell you, it was really good stuff. So, let's get into this shave. The Derby Extras are kind of known to be a very smooth blade. I haven't used them in a Chevette that, uh, yet though. It is kind of weird having the full length of the blade, but only having a portion of it being taken up by an actual razor blade. So it is kind of something to be aware of. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though, but it's something that you kind of got to 
pay attention to. <clears throat> Sorry if you can hear my wife's music in the background. She's cleaning and when she gets to cleaning or pretty much anything at all, she has to have her, uh, her music just absolutely blasting. So, <laughs> sorry if you can hear it in the background. It is what it is. But this is, uh, this is moaning down, no problem. Derbies, I mean, they're known to be somewhat, um, more mild and smooth. But make no mistake, they are a razor blade, and they will cut. So you still gotta treat them with respect. All right. Kind of slipping around right in this uh, portion here. Kind of got some lather on my hands from uh, stretching the skin. All right. First pass down. Looks like we're making good time. <clears throat> The uh, send strength, I would say, is just under medium. Thankfully, it came up a little bit since my unboxing video. If you guys uh, happened to watch that, the send strength was pretty low when I first brought it in inside from the uh, cold mailbox. So, thankfully, it has increased a little bit in send strength. Get some more lather here. <clears throat> I have been enjoying the uh, Tub City soap base. I think it's pretty damn good shit. And Pages being my second Hub City soap that I've ever uh, tried. I'd say they're two for two. I do like the scent on this one. I'd say it's um, it's not as leather forward as uh, it kind of uh, makes itself out to be when they kind of did their little write up of their inspiration. It's more, it's kind of a uh, woody and musky and warm, and um, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna fuss too much with the lather because. I do not want to <laughs> take have a long shave and then uh, fuck up this video since I have a limited amount of time available to me. If you guys are curious, I have just under 15 minutes <laughs> available, so... Let's see if we can make it in time. Had a very nice um, morning this morning. I woke up to the wife and the nieces making blueberry pancakes, eggs, and bacon. And also some French press coffee. So that was a treat to wake up to, for sure. And everything was really good. Then I watched my, uh, my buddy and fellow shaving degenerate tackle his First ever um, commissary style shave with the commissary shavette. And that was really uh, fun and entertaining to watch. 
did it on a private chat. <clears throat> and get a nice solid grip on this. Rotate it down, finish off this side. Kind of had leather on both sides of the blade there, but it's all good. Very nice. All right. So that'll conclude the shaving portion. I think the uh, IBC Chevette, which of course was uh, my first ever Chevette, and it was recommended to me by Sensei Doug from the Barely Normal Wet Shaver on YouTube. Good old Doug Bear always has awesome recommendations and tips and tricks to help us uh, get a better experience while shaving. I highly recommend checking out Doug's channel. It will be listed, not linked, <laughs> in the description. I don't do a whole lot of links because I feel like you can Google search it and find it yourself, but it will be listed in the description of the video for you guys to Google search or YouTube search. <clears throat> Very nice. Not too bad. All right. Looks like I got about three minutes to dry off and throw some aftershave off. I think we can handle that. So, Pages gets a thumbs up from me. I like it. I don't think I uh, loved it, but definitely enjoyed it. Ooh, looks like there was a uh, weeper there after all. Didn't even see that. Not bad, though. Proof that the Derby, the Derby Blade can still cut you, even though... It is known to be rather mild. Probably uh, my fault for shaving a little bit quicker than normal. But it's all good. All right. We'll get the rest off camera. I'm going to be using some Chatelon Lux Gracia League Square or GLS as a lot of people refer to it. Very classy bottle. I'm gonna pour it out the back, even though it has a very nice restrictor on it. Get some of that into my slightly damp pans. And this stuff is much more bold, much more masculine, I think, than Paige's but a very, a very beautiful fragrance in its own right. All right, we're down to the final minute. I think we did it. We had a very enjoyable shave right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you for all the support as always. Cheers, and I'll catch you on the next one.